The Eye River Wi-Fi story is just one of the latest ebook readers to hit the market and as the name suggests it has Wi-Fi connectivity, a much welcome feature considering the previous Eye River story had no connectivity options at all. And seeing as Eye River have formed a partnership with WH Smith, this means you'll be able to hop online and download ebooks directly from its ebook store on the device itself as long as you do so over a secure network. Now, design-wise, nothing has changed, so it's still got a six-inch screen, a full QWERTY, making it easy to search, annotate documents or write memos and make those diary entries. And the page turn keys are still on either side of it. And speaking of page turns, its refresh rate is a little sluggish, especially when compared to the new Kindle Wi-Fi, which seemed considerably quicker during our demo. It's just under 10 millimeters thick and a full charge will give up to 9,000 page turns and it also stores up to 1,500 books. It also runs iRiver's iFlow interface on top of a Linux-based operating system. Now, when it comes to general change, there is not a lot of it, bar the addition of Wi-Fi and that it now displays 16 levels of grey upgraded from 8. Which is completely fine for standard reading, although viewing comics in grayscale isn't very exciting, but still, it's a very nice feature to have. And the selection of comics and graphic novels are a little low right now, but I'm sure more will be added in the near future. Now, when it comes to downloading comics and graphic novels, you'll need to create and activate an Adobe Digital Editions account and then activate the device with the software on either your Mac or PC before you can do anything, which is all a bit of a long-winded process and one I really could have done without, especially as my Mac didn't register the iRiver until my fifth or sixth attempt. And all I really wanted to do was just take a quick look at Scott Pilgrim and the Infinite Sadness. And as it's affiliated with WH Smith, this means you won't be able to purchase other ebooks on the device itself from third party stores, but you will be able to transfer these ebooks from either your Mac or PC via USB. And you'll be happy to know that it connects to the ebook store at a reasonably fast rate, and downloading books won't keep you waiting too long. As far as ebook readers go, downloading speeds are pretty quick. It's easy to use, buttons are labelled clearly, and navigation is easy and intuitive, so there's no way you should get stuck at any point. And this goes for the device itself and WH Smith's ebook store. Now, the iRiver Wi Fi story also supports a wide variety of formats, including text, PDF, and EPUB. And you'll also find 2 gig of internal memory that's expandable to up to 32 gig via an SD card. It can also be used for a bit of basic Microsoft Office viewing, so Word, Excel, and PowerPoint files. And this has been improved to now support 2007 and 2010 formats. Like most e-readers, you can view your pictures and listen to music, and the built-in speakers and headphone jack allow the playback of audiobooks, while the built-in speaker gives it voice recorder functionality. Two features you don't really need, but it's nice to know they're there. Now, with the Kindle Wi-Fi due out very soon, with a very, very cheap £110 price tag, it'll be really interesting to see if iRiver bring the price of the Wi-Fi story down, because at £200, it is pretty pricey. And before I go, I just want to show you the packaging. There's nothing special about it, I just thought it was rather nice.